Hey GED students, this is Kate Redman here. I'm the instructor from Light and Salt Learning who made the GED math crash course for you guys. So I just wanna show you around a little bit and help you know how to use this. So first let me tell you that I've designed the GED math crash course to help new and struggling students learn the math that they really need for the GED. So here's what to expect. It's really GED focused, okay? Um, so you're gonna hear me talk a lot about how to use the calculator, how to use the GED formula sheet, um, exactly what to expect to see on the test, what it tends to focus on. Um, so lots of that, okay? Uh, what else you should expect is that we are going to go step by step through uh, the algebra that you need, through the math that you need. I have been a teacher who worked with adults with various disabilities and learning struggles my entire career as a teacher. And so that's really who I focus on. So um, if you just want a quick review, make sure you hit the quick review option because if you go through the full crash course, I'm really targeting those students who've always struggled with math, okay? Now, so let me just show you though how it works. Um, up at the top, you can see the various units here and they focus on what I call the GED math biggies, okay? So the GED math biggies you can see are algebra, slopes and lines, geometry, interpreting word problems, and then we've got data analysis as well, okay? Now I do have a Math 101 section with some basic math, but you're going to notice, like look at that, there's only six uh, little classes there. I don't do a lot of basic math in the crash course, again, because it's not a huge component of the GED. Um, you will see um, some more of the non-calculator section coming on the crash course in the future. I'll, I'll make it, uh, but since it's such a tiny part of the GED and so many students focus so much of their time in this area, um, I it's not where I've chosen to focus the majority of the course. It's just not mostly what you need, okay? But these are some really important basics uh, that are very, very useful to the math that's coming afterwards. So I've chosen these basic math con concepts uh, very carefully. So I do suggest you go through this Math 101, also called Unit Zero, uh, before you start any of the other units, especially if you're new to math. And then the next section, Algebra. The GED is mostly an algebra test. These are really the basics you need. And so um, taking algebra is super important. Now you might say, do I need to do all of this? That looks like a lot, Kate. Um, the way that I do it with my students is I have my students take a GED ready test after each main unit. So after finishing the algebra unit, take a GED ready test. You might already be ready to pass. If not, move on to the next unit, slope and lines. Do that unit. Take another GED ready practice test. Are you getting passing scores yet? Go in and test. If not, move on to the next one and so on and so forth. And the units really build on each other, so you'll get refreshers of the units before, even as you progress in your knowledge that way. Um, and so some students will only need to do one unit, some students will need to do all the units, just depending on where you're starting, what your uh, starting levels are, and just the way you learn. All right, now, how do you look at the lesson? So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the very first lesson just so I can show you what it looks like. So let's look at that basic operations in unit zero. And the first thing that you're going to see on a lesson page is a little learn it section. So you can read a little bit about what you're going to learn and then you can watch a full length virtual class video. Um, give yourself some study time, have a notebook out. Those full length class videos can range anywhere from 25 minutes to, I have some that are an hour and 15, depending on the class. Okay. Now I realize not all of you like uh, that option for study. You don't want a full length class video. So just an FYI, if you do scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see that you could learn through example videos instead at the bottom of the pages. I do have example videos. Some have more than others, depending on the topic. Okay, but I suggest you at least do one or the other. Okay, then uh, after that, on this particular one, I do have a little quiz to see if you could learn, if you 
uh, learned what you needed to from the video, but on every single page, I always have a beginning experienced advanced level practice. Um, and you can use those to practice. Now, a lot of students say, do I have to do all this? No, you don't have to do all this. Again, I want the crash course to work for all the students. So just pick whatever level is your level. Are you a beginning level student? Fine. Do the, just the beginning level practice. Are you experienced? Fine. Do just the experienced. And um, obviously, the higher level that you do, the more ready you are for the GED, but all the levels do apply, okay? And then don't worry, like, I have to get through the advanced level before I can move on. That's not the case at all. Um, the advanced level will often be a mixture of GED style problems and college problems, the kind of ways you're going to see these concepts appear in your college algebra classes. Uh, because most of you guys who are going to get your GED are going on to college or to a tech school in order for your careers. Um, and so that's what that advanced level practice is about. All right. And then, of course, like I said, at the bottom, we do have worked examples. And these are very frequently GED style examples. What you're going to see, what it's going to look like when you're on the test. And often if you're doing the experience and advanced level of practice and you find that uh, you didn't cover this in the virtual GED class, Kate. This is harder than what I saw. This is the place to go look. The example problems will have some challenge problems or some extensions of learning. So looking down there at the bottom is great. And then once you're done with that, you can just go on next lesson and go to the next one and so on and so forth. All right. So that's the basics of how to use the crash course. I'm so excited to have this tool to offer to you guys. I've had so many students uh, just reporting that they've used this to have a lot of success on their tests, seeing their scores go up, and that is so exciting to me. Make sure if you have any questions for me, whether it's about how to use the crash course or it's about GED math and how to solve a certain problem, just drop those in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Happy learning.